Hi friends, welcome to eCareer Plus YouTube channel. In this video, today we are going to see how to remove the IC of mobile phone and how to fix it. Let's get into the video. IC is nothing but integrated circuit in which the multiple electronic components assembles under single unit and in which the active and passive device miniatured with the thin interconnections. Nowadays the mobiles are manufactured with these ICs only. In case if there is any fault in phone means when we are taking it to the service to the center they used to say that there is a fault in ICs. Here we can think what is IC? Why do we need IC? What is the purpose of IC in the mobile? There are lots of types of ICs in a mobile phone like ball IC, pin IC, and QFP. So like this there are many kinds of IC are there. These ICs will be fixed in a mobile phone board for various purposes. ICs on mobile board are like uh, power supply IC, CPU IC, SIM IC etc etc. There are many types of ICs are used in a mobile phone. Some ICs are not mandatory which are optional. Some are mandatory that must be fixed in a mobile phone board. For example power IC, CPU IC, network IC, are some examples for mandatory ICs. Whatever phones, whether it is a button phone or an Android phone, whatever it is, those ICs will be mandatory, those will be fixed compulsorily. If there is any problem in IC means that may reflect on your mobile phone's performance. By replacing these ICs, we can fix the problem, but most of the service center won't seek to repair the IC. They advise you to replace the board only because it's a bit difficult to find those ICs. We need to search for it. On the other hand, you can get those ICs from some other mobile. Some mobile may have some other complaints. It won't work. So we can get those ICs from that phone and you can replace it to your phone. So if it is up to your convenient only. If it is available in market means you can get it or else you, if it is possible to you to replace it means you can do that. You can get it from another phone. Now we can see how to remove the IC and how to fix it. Now I have taken a mobile phone which is in on condition. From this phone only we are going to work on the IC. I have connected this phone with a DC power supply to the battery connector. Now I am going to switch on the mobile. It's done. You can see it's in on condition only but this there is a fault in a display. But the mobile is in on condition in good working condition only. Let's see how to remove the IC from this phone. Before that don't forget to remove the DC from a BC connector. Here you can see the varieties of ICs on the board. I'm showing you some ICs here. And here is the IC which is for charging section. So ICs are the partial reason to active the mobile. I am going to remove one of the IC from the board. First I am going to fix the board on the PCP holder. Before working on the board, remove the unwanted components which is disturbing you. If it is removable means just remove it otherwise just keep it safely because when you are working with the board it should not touch on other components. Now I am going to remove this IC. I will show you how to remove it. While removing the IC you have to be very careful because around those IC many components will be interconnected like resistor inductors will be there the equipments we need to remove IC is SMD rework station and some screws and soldering iron soldering paste etc before removing the IC you have to clean the board thoroughly there should not be any dust clean it with a brush spray some IPS solution on it again brush it thoroughly so all the dust will be removed properly.
now give a gentle heat with the assembly device with the help of that blower we are not removing the ic just for the drying purpose to remove the ic first have to apply some soldering paste on ic's apply it thoroughly on four sides little bit is enough for this ic now i'm going to set smd revac station air should be in two number heat should be from 300 to 350 degree celsius i'm using number 2 nozzle just keep the ic board on your comfortable side while using this heat gun you have to be very careful on the time of using you just keep it on the board if you're not using means keep it towards upside because the heat from this gun may affect the nearby components now i'm going to heat the ic be patient until the lead melts do not pull the ic from the board let it melt once it melts it will come automatically yeah it's done now i have removed the ic here you can see it before removing the ic you have to note the thing that is the direction of the ic because from which position you removed in that same position only you have to fix the ic to note the direction you can see the white color mark on the corner of the ic the same mark will be on the board also sorry i, I couldn't magnify that uh, mark that mark is here on the board so note this mark because once you misplaced the direction of ic you can't activate the phone so now ic removing process is over now we can see how to fix the ic on a board here you can see the connecting pins around the ic that dot dot things are the connecting pins of the ic this one only the ball ic which i said you earlier here you can see the white mark at the left side corner of the ic this is the place where the ic was now to fix the ic apply some soldering paste on ic's place do not apply more than adequate amount it may affect the nearby components now i'm going to place the ic in the same direction from where that is i have removed once you remove the ic you can also check the connecting pins whether it is working properly or not if there is any complaints means you can rectify it now in this board the connecting pins are working good so i'm going to fix the ic before fixing the ic just heat the board to melt the soldering lid once it melts thoroughly you can fix the ic before melting do not fix the ic now the lid is melted just check it with a tweezer you can see the melted lid there now i placed the ic on that melted lid do not press it once you placed just give a gentle heat on the ic that is enough to fix the ic once you fixed the ic immediately do not check whether the ic is being fixed properly or not spray some ic solution on the ic to cool down it wait for 1 to 2 minutes 
then you can check whether it is being fixed properly or not two minutes over now we can touch the ic see it's being fixed properly it is being fixed exactly only with the connecting pins there is no slanting side nothing else that's it the fixing process is over now we can check the mobile whether we could activate it or not now i'm going to connect dc power supply to bc connector now i'm going to switch on the mobile here you can see it is on that's all today we have seen how to remove the ic from a board and how to fix it back thank you for watching catch you in the next video bye